Don't ever forget to give it to them later. And off we go. Um, yeah, let's give our best guys the um. His rifles, not the best guys, the first guys, the laser rifles. She doesn't have a gun. I don't know why. Who else should get a rifle? I mean, Clint Eastwood is a highest ranking officer, he should probably get a rifle. On a guy doesn't have a gun because reasons. Um and we need someone to hold. Rocket launcher, Donald? No, Donald Trump doesn't need it. You can have it. It's your lucky day. Maybe give someone else the stun rod. Like, not Pierre. Like Clint Eastwood. There you go. Oh, look at this beauty. Sectoids. From memory, this tank is more durable than the default tank. Because it's made of alien alloys as well. And it does a lot of damage per shot, which is excellent. Alright. So, I'm thinking smoke the spacecraft. And then get started on these aliens outside. Also smoking them out. Um, let's smoke there. That wasn't quite ideal. I probably should have smoked here, so it dispersed over here a bit more. But that's fine. Is this primed? Oh, it is perfect. down and then throw it. There we go. Alright. Now they can't see us and we can just wail on them. <laughs> that was not the best shot I've ever seen him make. Uh, that... I can't tell what gun that is but this looks like a pistol. This is a heavy plasma. Yeah, I, I don't know what that gun that is, or this one. Oh, Donald Trump. Like, it looks kind of green, which means it might be a launcher, but I, it might be grey. And it only looks green because it's in a cornfield. Nice try, Donald. Very Mary Sue. The third in our Mary Sue line. The story behind that is we got three recruits, and they all had really good stats. So I named the first one Mary Sue, and then I saw the second one and like also named the Mary Sue. And then the third one also had good stats, so they became very Mary Sue. But obviously, you have to have a pun in the name, so it's very Mary Sue. That's the way you do it. <laughs> With the laggy laser shots. Uh, maybe I actually kill this guy. He's more of the heavy plasma. Kind of more threatening. By a lot. Maybe leave the rocket launch. No. Why does Armin have a laser rifle? Why did I give the recruit a laser rifle? Come on, boy. Oof. Good try. Your father and I are very proud of you. Um. We're kind of just running out of shots. 
Unless this shot kills them, which it doesn't. Because these guys can only take a couple of shots each. If that. One shot. One snap. Nope. Uh, fingers crossed they do not come out of the UFO and kill all of us. Not enough time minutes. Okay, well, shit. I'm really worried about that UFO. Oh god, okay, well, the door was open because we now have line of sight into it. That is very concerning. Got it tanked. Get our tank to find the guys. We have found the guys. Armand will take a shot. Oh, that's very good. The second shot, like, I think also was on point. This is excellent. Not enough time units, but either way, he should probably run away. Who else needs shots? He must have. Straight to the head. And then straight to the tank. I've now misclicked on. Um, yeah, I think this is as close as we should probably get to the UFO. So we got a hit squad ready for that. The rest of my guys can move forward. Four people for the UFO. Everyone else can get moving. All right, that's still being opened. Um, but this area is not safe. So what I might do is just stand all guys over here. Okay, there's a guy just looking at us. I'm glad this is smoked out. <laughs> As I was saying, stand all the guys over here, where they can like see into the unsafe area. Shit. They can only just snap fire. This is actually really risky then. Oh well, hey big boys, they'll handle it, I hope. The last guy is probably in the UFO. Yep. Hey! Hell suit. Alright. I'm kind of surprised that I didn't kill him. There we go. And let's just check there's no one in the UFO. Perfect, that should be the end. Oof, nice and easy one. Another Colonel, Han Solo. Neil Diamond, now Captain as well. It's because I have all these other dudes in the other bases. Pop him out of the sky. Where's he going? land anywhere. Just sort of dicked around. <laughs> because reasons. Wow, we are poor as fuck. Um, let's fix that. By selling the black market, the grey market, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend anyone, the grey market, some corpses. Because everyone loves corpses, for reasons I don't understand. Heavy plasmas are really strong, but I, I personally don't love them. They seem cheap. <laughs> like, the tech tree doesn't make sense in terms of game balance. It makes sense in terms of realism, but it doesn't make sense in terms of balance. Because once you find a heavy plasma, 
suddenly you're more powerful than the aliens if you use them. Which is kind of dumb. It's kind of extremely dumb. So we're not gonna make too much use of them for now. And Skyrim is still good to go. Where did my money go? Did I not press sell? Whoops. Alright. No, not power sources. Holy shit, that would be bad. Because these guys are using up money. Holy shit, that is expensive. Good lord. Okay, never mind. We're not making two for each base. <laughs> and I need to find a way to get more money. Let's sell some guns. Pips, uh. They don't sell for very much, but they're a pain in the ass to get. They need to sell more guns. Actually, we're gonna get. We're gonna get some more income from this crashed ship. good. And the Ufo is right there, which is extra, extra good. Let's get the tank to chill. And I'll send a hit squad out to the Ufo. With power suits, they should be okay. Uh, everyone else can just sort of hide, I think. Of safety. Got that one. Um, having ten people feels like so little after. Having a full 14 squad. It's kind of weird. Sectoids. Alright. Is it up here? Yeah. Well, sort of. I don't know if he has line of sight. But I'm good. I didn't see what weapon this guy was carrying, so I'm just gonna smoke him out to avoid death as we approach. I'll try to see his weapon. Or you could just, you know, not come out. Oh, it's heavy plasma. Um, so I'll go up, up real close and just order him. There we go. And then back out again. Maybe... Smoke the door. That's just a pistol. We can just stun him. Blink. Oh shit, there's more. Well, that went pretty well. Oh shit, that was a heavy plasma. Okay, so we got super lucky then. Um, 49 health, 100 front armor. 
That's that's pretty good odds actually. Took no damage. It's good. Perfect. I don't suppose you have a stun. You do. Chuck that on the ground. I'm gonna gamble with this guy's life and say that we can probably just stun this guy. Yep, he's fine. <laughs> Took a whole lot of shots, but he's fine. Um, I think that's the last of them. Because there's so many here. So what I'm just going to do is heal him up before we end. There we go. Four live aliens, that's really good. It means we can't sell their corpses though. Which is actually kind of inconvenient. We need some more missiles. Because our tech is not going as fast as I had hoped. Once the living quarters is done, we'll have more engineers. And like this is not as important anymore because we have the first tank done. Move back to other things. Shit. They might be trying to find our base. is not ideal. Well, although I guess we'd be pretty good at defending with all the equipment we have on hand. Oh, need to put another guy on because the other guy got injured. Let's put another rookie on and make sure he has armor. Um, no armor for you. Give Donald Trump a power suit and very Mary Sue a power suit. And we're off. If we save, so I don't mess something up. What is it even called? Stream game 01001? I don't know how long this is going to take. Probably not 100 saves, given that I'm barely saving. Might as well have a rocket. Hey, yeah, Clint Eastwood's a girl. And as I previously mentioned, Donald Trump is a black guy. Because reasons. I didn't find out their genders and races until after I'd named them, so. Unlucky for him. Who we got? Sectoids again. And respawns in a corner, which is good. UFO's right there. Perfect. Who needs experience, Mary Sue? Not throw. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, who else needs experience? Um, um, mm -hmm. oh, you can have some. If you can shoot things, you probably should have specified that. Right, Gino series up next. Uh, not very good shots. Which is why we're giving them XP by giving them kills. Alright, so. Hit squad will move towards the UFO.
Maybe capture some more live aliens. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Donald Trump is on the hit squad. What a day to be alive. Look at that fur. Beautiful. Everyone else will just sort of chill around. Oops, not framed. Chill around the Scare Ranger. These guys don't really need to leave yet. Right in front of us. But I think he has a pistol. So, we will do the honors. Hand solo. Will you stun this man? For us? Shit. I forgot moving on. Um, select services is expensive as hell. Um, maybe you can take a shot. Come on, buddy. There we go. Yeah, so movement is it costs four time units to move. Um, like in in an X direction, like square straight to the adjacent square, and if you move diagonally like this, it costs six. But if you move on a ramp, like a, a slope surface or anything like that, it costs way more, which kind of sucks. And you guys can just all chill. Doesn't look like there's many left alive. That should be enough smoke cover to get to the UFO. Um, I just go here and then just run straight in next turn. Let's go. You're all dead. So the last guy's outside then. Unless he's here, but he's not. Alright, so he's outside. I just got my tank to find him. Hello. It's time to shoot across the entire map. I'm not expecting these to land. Oh, we hit the cactus. That's like a consolation prize. If one of the rookies can land this shot, it would be really nice. But given the accuracy levels, I'd be pretty surprised. There we go, so that's probably the last guy. Yep. Couple more promotions. There wasn't much there, it was mostly dead aliens. I had a mine probe though. That's convenient. And they had some guns, which we can now sell for tons of cash. Perfect. Oh, lovely. Let's buy some more soldiers. And couple more scientists and some more engineers. We have two workshops, yeah, okay. So we can afford a lot of engineers, like maybe another 34. 70, seems good. Um, might sell off some more guns. 
Just so we can keep manufacturing without worrying about money. Lovely. Alright. Still running low on money because we're building expensive stuff. So I will sell some more guns. Perfect. How's the manufacturing going? Slowly. <laughs> Lovely. Alright. So four more dudes who we can rename. Lots of dudes who have died, but oh well. Um Research. Mission's kind of poor. Have a friend. Laser defense. Uh, that might unlock the... No, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, laser defense, I'm pretty sure it's a dead end. We should stop researching that. Progressively. Laser defense isn't very useful. Improved interceptor is... Um... Thanks, it's not bad. And I might research the plasma rifle now. Where's the plasma rifle? What? Did I sell my last plasma rifle? No? Are we already researching the plasma rifle? We are. Okay, that would explain that. You need some more manpower. Holy shit, this is gonna take so long. We have too many projects going on at the same time, so. Let's. Let's just finish the um, tanks ASAP, and then we can get rid of all that project space. Get all the armor done. Those of a day, that's pretty good. Alright. I think at this point the laser rifle is the most important thing. Motion scanner. It's not very useful. This sophisticated device uses a variety of detectors and advanced computer algorithms to identify moving enemies, enemy units. However, it requires some practice to use effectively. That's not really true. Click on the motion scanner icon on the tactical display, select Use Scanner from the menu. The scanner display shows an arrow in the center, which is the direction the soldier is facing north is at the top. The flashing blobs show units which have moved recently. Large units or fast moving units will produce larger blobs. Static units will not be detected. So basically you pull up a screen and it gives you motion sensitive wall hacks for 10 squares or something like that. Which sounds good in theory, but then you realize that you can just use a smoke grenade instead, and then you realize the motion scanners are expensive and difficult to use. So in practical terms, the motion scanner's most useful purpose is to manufacture it <laughs> and sell it, unfortunately for it. Um, for construction it might be useful. I think that gives us um, fancy ships. Fancy ships are nice. Super corpse. Look at that wonderful specimen. Two hearts, two brains. Very screen is highly flammable, making it vulnerable to incendiary weapons. We don't really care about that though. We just shoot them with normal guns. <laughs> Because they're so low threat, so it doesn't matter if they get, if they just take a while to kill. Um, the code corpse. The autopsy reveals vestigial, I don't know what that means, digestive organs and a simple structure. The brain and eyes are very well developed. The structure suggests genetic alteration or mutation. That's wonderful. The small mouth and nose appear to have little function. The webbing between the fingers and the fat 
Flat feet suggest aquatic origins. There are no reproductive organs and no clues as to how the species can reproduce. Cloning. They're most probably a genetically engineered species. Wonderful. Hey, the Malinator will take out this UFO. Let's take a quick look. That's like the medium sized UFO. Bam. Easy. Alright. I think that's a pretty good time to stop right after I sell some stuff for money. Because we're running short on funds. And I'm gonna figure out if I don't do it now. No, let's actually just keep the clips. Alright. I'm gonna save that though. Stream Game Zero Two, what a creative name. And that will be it. Like the one person watching. Thanks for watching.